Welcome to Forensic Detectives, folks. I am Dr. Koji. Guess me, the guest detector. And look, folks, I'm a first responder. My medical bag and my carbon monoxide detector attached to the medical bag with a alligator clip. Folks, this is a little beauty that we have at Forensic Detectives, perfect for first responders to carry with them, just as I showed on your medical bag or on your person, on your belt and you're good to go and you're protected when it comes to responding to a situation with carbon monoxide. Look, carbon monoxide is odorless, tasteless. We do not know it's there unless a detector like this warns us folks, okay? So it's important for first responders to have a carbon monoxide detector with them to protect them under these situations. And in, in some cities and states and counties, it's actually a requirement. It's mandatory to have this with you, okay? If you're an ambulance, police, firemen or firewoman, you may need this. It may be mandatory and I'm sure your administrators are taking care of you in that department. Okay, folks. Now, this is our FD-103-CO detector, primarily made for this exact situation. Waterproof, dustproof, drop proof it is a robust unit perfect for first responder situations okay it could take rain it could take sunlight it could take a lot of environmental harshness and will still operate for you to protect our first responders okay now look folks it comes in a nice little box when you do purchase it it comes with a color manual it comes again with the unit itself, the detector, and it comes with a nice certificate to show you that we calibrated it to NIST traceable sources here in Los Angeles to assure you of accuracy that the unit is functioning accurately, which is very important. Okay, folks, now, that's the way it goes. We have a nice blog article about EMS and carbon monoxide detector situations, very detailed, Indeed. Now, let me give you a quick demo before we leave here. Okay, so you could see how it works. The sensor's right at the front there. This is our calibration cap. I just popped that onto some tubing, onto a calibration gas bottle. I'm gonna turn the gas on. You could hear the gas. I'm in a well-ventilated area, so don't worry. We've got about 200 parts per million of gas in this bottle going straight to the unit. There are two alarms. The first alarm, bang, it just exceeded 50 parts per million. We get the beep. The second alarm is set at 200. You get the LED beep and the vibration once it passes the 200 part per million threshold. Now, these thresholds are preset. You may want it to be 25 and 80 or whatever requirement your city, state or county tells you to program it. It's easy to change. Not a problem at all. There you go, folks. You could hear it vibrating. Okay, so in other words, you get the three modes of alarm, which is very important for first responders. If it's dark, you could see the LEDs. If it's too noisy, if it's too noisy, you could see the LED again. Or if you cannot see the lights, you could hear it or you could feel it. Very important to feel the vibration. Depends on the situation that you're in. But one thing is for sure, carbon monoxide is the silent killer. This will protect first responders. Okay, folks, that's the way it goes. Now, if there's anything else, let us know. I hope that helps. We believe this is a fantastic unit for that application. EMS, CMT, first responders, ambulance, um, fire brigade, police, and others. Okay, folks, look, any questions, we're here to help. I hope you're well. Be safe. See you soon.